Welcome to episode number two. Can you can you guys hear that? The wind is so 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 loud. Yeah, that's that's the beast from the east. That that's how it's actually called. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the second episode of Ask Zone of Tech or Zone of Tech Q and A. Uh, in the previous one, I answered some pretty cool questions. In case you haven't seen that video, link for that is in the description. But in this one, I'll be answering some more questions that you guys asked me on the YouTube community page, Twitter, and Instagram. And yeah, this has been this is pretty much it for the intro. So. Grab some snacks, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so question number one is coming from Christian. Do you code in Swift? So in case you don't know what Swift is, Swift is a programming language made by Apple. Uh, and I don't code in Swift anymore, but I did try it. Uh, that was when it was released. I made a 2D game, so I was using it for like two months, three months. But yeah, it's, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, you should guys definitely give it a try. There is a new app, it's called Playgrounds for iOS. If you have an iPad, you can try that app. And it's pretty much, you know, you get a lot of tutorials on how to use Swift. So I think that's really, really useful if you want to start programming in Swift. Next up, Henry asks, uh, is the MacBook Air worth buying in 2018? Please answer. Well, I'm going to answer because he said, please. Uh, no, no, don't buy the, Mac the MacBook Air. It came out in 2015. That was when it was last updated. In 2017, Apple released the spec bump, kind of. So they increased the processor speed from 1.6 to 1.8 gigahertz for the baseline model. But no, don't get a MacBook Air. It's a 2010 design. So it's an eight year old design with 2015 specs. And even those specs in 2015, even those are really, really bad. So get a 12 inch MacBook if you really want something that's thin and portable, or even better, get a 13 inch MacBook Pro if you want to get it because you know, it's pretty much the same price as a 12 inch MacBook. So no, avoid the MacBook Air. Then Lego Studios, <laughs> pretty cool name, asks, uh, what are your hopes for the upcoming Google Pixel 3? And then Pear, 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 uh, asks, what do you expect from the Pixel 3? So two questions on the Pixel 3, I actually got quite a few more. Uh, but yeah, essentially when it comes to the Pixel 3, I really, really love my Pixel 2 XL, which I'm actually using, you know, to see the actual, you know, what I'm recording. Uh, this is connected to my camera. But I really, really love the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, mostly the 2 XL. Um, when it comes to the 3, we don't really have any leaks and any rumors when it comes to the 3. Once we do, I'll be doing a leaks and rumors episode on that. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that as soon as it comes out and any notifications. But yeah, when it comes to the Pixel 3, the main feature would have to be uh, a brand new design because from the front, it, I don't know, it doesn't look that great with those thick bezels. From the back, it looks okay, especially if you get it in white. But yeah, other than that, the camera is amazing. It will be getting a bump, 4K60 video, uh, Snapdragon 845 processor. Other than that, we're not really sure, but the design is definitely gonna get a change. So that's what I'm really, really looking forward to when it comes to the Pixel 3. Next up, James. James was actually the person who won the AirPods in my last giveaway, asks, uh, so congratulations, James. Can you do an office slash house tour? Uh, yeah, I'll be doing that fairly soon. The thing is, this space is, I don't know, I'm recording from my living room actually, and it's quite old. I haven't changed the background in uh, I don't know how many years. So I do want to move in a dedicated studio space to improve the actual quality of those videos. So that's coming fairly soon, I hope. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'll be doing an office tour once I get that, but until then, I don't know, I don't really have anything cool to show you in this space. I feel like it's uh, it's, it's quite bad, but I don't know, I might, I might do an office tour or house tour of this space anyways. But definitely one once I move into a new space and, you know, pretty much improve the quality of the videos. And MIZ asks, what cameras do you use to record your videos and close-ups? And are you gonna do an office slash setup tour again? Uh, well, when it comes to the first question, second one I've already answered, uh, I actually use a Panasonic GH5 to record pretty much what you see here. So that's a really good camera. It can do 4K60, it can do 10-bit video. Uh, in case you don't know, there's not that many cameras that can do 10-bit videos, uh, especially in this price range. 10-bit um, is basically, most cameras do 8-bit videos, which, mean, which means uh, 60 million colors. This one can do up to even over a billion colors. Uh, and 60 frames per second 4K, that's pretty cool. So I record everything in 4K 30, uh, IPB, and all the device shots are shot in 4K 60. So I can basically slow them down twice. But the videos that you see are in uh, 4K 30, exported and published at 4K 30. So that's the camera I used to record pretty much all of my videos. And before I used to use, I used a uh, Panasonic GH4. Then Ar Argand, Argand, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, sorry asks, if you wouldn't be making YouTube videos, what would your job be? And which phone would you stick for how long? I'm guessing that was like, I'm guessing you mean, uh, which phone would you use the most if you could choose a phone? Okay, so when it comes to the second part of your question, um, I'm not sure if I, if I, 
wasn't in the Apple ecosystem. I use, I use a lot of Apple products. The Apple Watch, I have to use a Mac because I use Final Cut Pro for all the editing. Um, so if I wasn't really in the Apple ecosystem and I could choose whatever phone and I had to use that for like two years, I would probably pick a Google Pixel 2 XL just because uh, of the updates. Um, or maybe even a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 because of the features, and then I would just put a custom ROM, a stock Android ROM on that. So that's what I would be using if I wasn't changing my uh, my phone so often. And other than that, I would be using an iPhone if you know I'm still in the Apple ecosystem. Now to the first part of your question, if you were to be making YouTube videos, what would your job be? Uh, well, since my degree was in computer science, more about this in my previous Ask Zone of Tech, Q&A number one, I'd probably make games, video games. So I would probably be a game designer. Um, yeah, I think that's what I would love the most. So yeah, fun fact, I actually made a few games, which I'm gonna, I might show you in, I don't know, future video. Okay, moving on to the next one. Alex Kim asks, your intros always have this techno slash house music. Is that a music you normally listen to? I would say, yeah. So I love techno, electronic music, uh, basically pretty much anything that sounds that's good. If, if it's a good tune, no matter if it's, I don't know, jazz, classical music, even rap, uh, uh, I don't know, I listen to Eminem a lot. So yeah, if it's a good track, I'll listen to it regardless of what you know genre it is. But yeah, I do listen to quite a lot of uh, house and techno and electronic. That's why you hear that in the intro. Then Shaytaya Sh Sh Badami, Badami, okay asks, what do you think about the latest Asus Zenfone 5 series? Uh, well, it, you know, it looks like an iPhone 10. Whoa, the, the wind is so crazy. It looks like an iPhone 10, so they didn't try to hide that. So I think the main reason why they made it look like an iPhone 10 was because the previous one didn't do so well when it came to when it came to sales. So they tried it to make it look like an iPhone clone, iPhone 10 clone, so that it would get a lot of uh, promotion and a lot of exposure. And that's how they plan on selling this phone. But I don't know. I think they should have tried making something unique, something something really, really cool, uh, rather than you know just copy Apple. I think. But it's a pretty good PR stunt. Let's be honest. It's a pretty good PR stunt. Next up, one thousand words. This is a pretty cool one. Um, not even tech related, but what's what's the perfume or fragrance that you use? Just <laughs> just curious. Uh, I feel like I probably use like ten perfumes. I have a perfume collection. My favorite ones are the uh, uh, Chanel Allure Home Sport, and also the Calvin Klein uh, Contradiction. I have it on my desk. So I don't remember the name, but yeah, Contradiction, uh, Calvin Klein, and Chanel Allure uh, Home Sport. Those are my favorite ones. Then Mike asks, what smartphone or which smart smartphone are you most looking forward to reviewing in 2018? Well, to be honest, it's not the iPhone uh, 10 Plus because that's just a larger iPhone 10. Uh, it's not the Samsung Galaxy S9 because that's, you know, Samsung Galaxy S8S. It might be the Note 9 if it comes with a 4K display. So either the Note 9 or guess which phone, the Google Pixel 3 XL. I'm really, really looking forward to that phone if they update the design a lot. Hopefully no notch, hopefully some really thin bezels. But yeah, Pixel 3 or Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Then Harshil asks, what do you think about expanding your genre to other areas as well, like auto industry and stuff? I'm not sure what you mean by stuff, but when it comes to the audio industry, I don't know, I'm not really into cars, I, so probably not the audio industry, but I do want to make different kind of videos, uh, not just, you know, smartphone videos. I make a lot of smartphone videos, mostly because you guys enjoy watching smartphone videos, but to be honest, smartphones isn't, that's not really my main my main area of interest, that's actually computers, so uh, I might be making a lot of computer and builds in the future. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for those. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Uh, and I'm also a big fan when it comes to storage and NAS devices, so that's also something that I might do some videos on, so definitely stay tuned for those, and yeah, definitely let me know in the comments if you want to see those kind of videos. Then Joan asks, what car do you drive? Well, I uh, drive, it's it's a pink pink Lambo, obviously. Yeah, no, no, really, I, I, don't, I don't have a car. I, I don't really have a car, so yeah, that's, that's your answer. Then Martin Garrix is Lyf, What's your favorite DJ? Mine is Martin Garrix. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, judging from, okay. Um, have you ever met, went to Tomorrowland? No, I've never been to Tomorrowland. Uh, but yeah, I actually listened to Martin Garrix. I think he's a pretty good, is he a DJ? I thought he actually made his own songs, I think. But I don't know, he has some really good tracks. And finally, the last question is from uh, JJLIM322. Pretty cool name. What advice do you have for somebody who wants to start a YouTube tech channel but doesn't have the money and doesn't really know how to start one? 
Uh, well, honestly, you should use whatever camera you have. Just use your smartphone. When I started, I didn't have anything. I had start. I started with an iPhone 4s, and I didn't even have a tripod. I might make a video on how how I started the channel, but I didn't even have a tripod. I, I was using a box and a broomstick. I'm not even joking. And an iPhone 4s to record videos, and it was strapped with duct tape. I'm not even joking. That was that was my setup. So it was really really bad. Um, and you don't need, really need to have any devices. Like if you have whatever, even a different smartphone, you can make videos on that. Uh, and you don't really need to have a device to make a video on. Like take a look at this video. I'm not really showing any devices. I'm just talking to the camera. So uh, you can just talk about tech and record everything with your smartphone. But I think the number one, my number one advice would be just do it. Do something that you love. If you like doing, I know if you enjoy I know computer parts, if you enjoy programming, whatever it is, even makeup tutorials, start that, start doing a makeup channel and see how it goes. Don't start the channel by thinking you'll make lots of money and stuff like that. I started as it was basically a hobby, it was a passion. Uh, I never realized that it would actually turn into, into a job. So yeah, definitely start, try something, see how it goes, but whatever it is, uh, just follow your passion and don't think about quality and having lots of expensive equipment. That's really not what it matters. YouTube is just about just about the content itself, not how the content looks. But yeah, there we go. This has been uh, this has been it. I answered all the questions. I'm not sure how long this video is. Hopefully, it's not too long. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Q and A style of videos. Do you want me to do more? Do you want me to do less? Um, and yes, yeah, has been a uh, oh, literally got a new question. Do you prefer Christmas? <laughs> Or Easter, do you like ice cream? Where do you live? Uh, well, no, Christmas, obviously. The joy of giving gifts. That's pretty much my favorite part, Christmas. But yeah, definitely subscribe if you want to see more interesting tech videos like this one. Uh, check out some previous videos that I did and also the previous uh, Zenof Tech Q&A. This has been pretty much it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to turn notifications, by the way, by tapping on the bell icon. I'm Daniel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Zenof Tech, signing out. Cheers.